hi you guys um, today we're going to look at um, bearing and how to calculate your bearing on a paper uh, the first thing that you need to know you need to have a protractor as you can see this one I'm gonna you can see it's a piece of paper that I have because I know uh, um, not everybody does have a protractor at home but most of you do have a computer if you've got a computer you probably have a printer so this one I've just printed to myself um, to make use of it while doing the map work for you. So when we look at bearing, the first thing that we need to know is what is bearing? Um, uh, it is a new concept for most of you, if, especially if you're in grade 10, but um, it's a very easy one. Bearing is basically the angle um, that two points make between each other sorry if I'm writing a bit of a uh, neat okay so what do I mean about that when you look here at the R and the Y if you have your own map that you've printed you can perhaps um, just uh, draw lines on it but uh, I'm not going to draw a line now uh, I want to know what the bearing is uh, from R to Y. In a question paper, they would say, what is the bearing uh, at Y if you measure from R? You know, they can switch it around. But just make sure what the point is where you are working from. So in this case, we're going to work from R. So you take your protractor. Please note, you've got a side that's 0 and a side that's 180. The side that's 0, you, you, you point it to the top of the paper. In the R, you make a straight cross through. Okay, you must be very straight. Then you put the center piece on the R. Okay. And you can imagine that there's a straight line going through there. Now I want to know what is the angle that's been created by this. Now I, I know it's a bit skew some of it. But in this case, it will be 100 degrees. So if you perhaps forgot your, um, your protractor, you can just draw yourself a line. You will see that it forms 90 degrees angles and it's just slightly over. So you can guess it, but don't guess. Rather use a protractor, it's safer. And you will see that Y from R is 100 degrees. And then you would have been, you know, if they ask you Y from R and then you will say it is a hundred degrees okay so that is actually the easiest part of um, of of the whole thing then you go over when usually if they ask you bearing you know the next question is going to be magnetic declination or they're going to ask you magnetic declination and then they're going to go over to um, bearing so how do I calculate magnetic declination and what is it actually? So when you look on the map, you will see there at the bottom. Now, I know it's a bit not, not very big, but uh, you'll, you'll manage. You will see that there's usually two arrows that they, draw, uh, that, they, that they draw. And then there will be a scenario next to it. At the top, it's the English. At the bottom, it's the Afrikaans. Now, we are going to work with that. It says the mean magnetic declination. So it says you know exactly where you are on the map. And we are going to use that to do the magnetic declination. Now, what they usually ask you in a test is calculate. They will tell you, calculate the current magnetic declination okay so that is the question you need to answer it they're not giving you anything apart from calculate the current magnetic declination so what you do is you go back to that part that i showed you on the map and you read and you'll see okay i do have information that they are giving me they are telling me that the mean Magnetic declination of 
was 25 degrees 29 minutes west that was in july 2001 they are also telling you the mean annual change is nine minutes west and then they give you 1995 to 2000 this is now on this map that i have on all the maps this will differ it's on every map it's something else but what i want you to first see here is they are trying to confuse you with these dates as soon as you see the one that has a month with it you know that's the one that you use you don't use the other one you just disregard it when you go on to school in university then you'll learn to use the second part but for now you only work with a part that has um, the month and the year okay so now we can actually we do have information this is from the map so now we can actually go through the steps and calculate what is the current magnetic declination now the first thing is um, we need to know what is the difference in years okay that's the first step that you need to follow how are we going to do it well we know that this map was constructed in 2001 but how do we determine how many years have passed we go to the word that they gave you there current now current is the year that you are in the current year in this case it's 2020 next year it will be 2021 the year after it will be 2022 so every year if i ask the same question the answer is going to differ because it's a year on okay so the difference in year you take the current year and you subtract the old one it's usually the big one minus the smaller one okay and you will get that it is 19 years okay the second step is um what is the mean annual change a oh, while though this is a, a easy marks because you have it there you just write okay it's nine minutes west okay now sorry nine minutes west now we want to know how much did it change so what is the total change that took place and that's quite easy you can write your own formula for this you can say oh it's one multiply by two which means whatever year it is multiplied by how much it changed every year will give me the total change as it can differ from every map so you're going to say it's 19 years multiply by nine minutes west and you will get the answer of 171 minutes west if you don't believe me there i'm going to put it 19 times 9 you get 171 okay now now we know how much it changed so we basically know if you draw this this is true north and this is where magnetic north is this was magnetic north that's that amount i'm going to do it like this and now i want to know it moved a bit further what is the new line what is that new total of the mean magnetic declination and this is what we are going to determine now so when you go to the last step you're actually now answering the question the question was calculate the current magnetic declination so now we're doing calculation you don't even need to have an, uh, a heading or anything you are just going to say you're going to go back you say 25 degrees 29 minutes west so you say 25 degrees 29 minutes west we are moving west more you know this is west so we're going from from west to even more west that is why we are adding 171 minutes west okay now going back to the calculator uh, unfortunately i only have this one so i can only work from this one and this is just my way of explaining it to you hopefully you will practice it um we can do the whole calculation on this calculator you will see there's a button there that says eng i say it's my english button okay above the english button you will see there's one that has 
a circle and then three commas okay now we are going to use that one the circle and the three commas because it stands for degrees minutes and seconds all right so what you're going to push in on the calculator will be 25 and then you push that button and then you're going to say 29 you're going to push that button again then you're going to push the plus button and now you must remember we do not have a degree there we only have minutes so we need to put in a value a place value just to do the sum so you are going to say zero and always with magnetic declination you will put in a zero then you will push that button again you're going to say 171 please note when i'm putting a number in there's nothing in between it's only the button and then you have the plus sign in the middle oh, it's a circle and okay get the idea and then you're going to push equal now here i'm going to do it you see i'm going to focus there that you can see the most part 25 degrees 29 minutes plus zero that's my place holder degrees 171 minutes and you're going to get your answer 28 degrees 20 minutes i'm going to br bring it up for you to see ah it actually gives it to you like that hey it puts in the 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 degrees and minutes and then you could just go and you write it down 28 degrees 20 minutes you don't even have to write the seconds and then you've got your answer so Basically, now you've calculated the current magnetic declination. So you have to go to the end. Please note that I don't have a direction there. There's no direction here. You lose the direction at the end because um, uh, you just say that is the new magnetic declination. So then you get the next question and it says, what is the, the new magnetical bearing? Or what is the magnetical bearing from y to r now we now we, we're actually combining we did measure the bearing and we knew that was 100 and we did the magnetic declination and that's 28 point uh, 28 degrees 20 minutes now just before i go on what you must remember here with your magnetic de declination your answer how do you know your answer is correct if this answer is big like it's different the difference is about 10 20 more then you made the mistake of forgetting the zero the magnetic declination will never change by that much. It won't be into the hundreds and stuff like that. So please make a note that it will be a change and it will, depending on, you know, if that's 600 minutes, it's only, um, I think it's 5 degrees or 10 degrees. So uh, please just, just note that this won't change that much because that's a big number. That's just minutes. It's like when you go on a, on a watch. 60 minutes is 1 degree, so 60 minutes will be 1 degree. Please note there, no big change. But when you get to the magnetic bearing here, it can be a big change. Because what now happens is, we know, and we've already done this now, that's north, that is the line that we're working with, and now this is magnetic north. Now, I want to know, from magnetic north, let me just put it closer north is black blue is my line purple is my magnetic north i want to know what is the angle from magnetic north to y and this i can't calculate with the, uh, the, the protractor we need to use what we have what we do know at this stage is that the bearing was 100 degrees the magnetic declination was 28 degrees 20 minutes so thus meaning that the magnetic bearing will be and it's as easy as this 100 degrees plus 28 degrees 20 minutes and your answer is one two eight degrees 20 minutes it's as easy as that so hopefully you do understand it by now um 
I will be posting by the end of the week. I'll, I'll try and post you some uh, scenarios that you can work out for yourself. But please make a note and try and take your map workbook and try and work through some of those. Just choose two random marks uh, points and try to uh, calculate the magnetic bearing.